Millions, even tens of millions of people around the world are eagerly waiting for Tesla to release the Optimus robot to the public as soon as possible. As most believe things like, it'll take care of all the boring housework for me. I'll use it in my store instead of hiring staff. Or, I'll have it give me a massage every day. And so on. However, in the face of this widespread anticipation and the dream of owning Optimus, Elon Musk dropped a bombshell. Optimus will only be sold in the US. More precisely, Tesla will focus on the domestic market. Oh my God, we believe quite a few people were left stunned by this announcement, especially since Musk had previously stated that anyone in the world would be able to own Optimus, that Tesla would sell them globally, and that all 8 billion people could potentially have one. Tesla even showcased Optimus in China and Japan, which led most to believe it would be available in every market. Yeah, and in the end, that didn't happen. There's definitely a reason behind this, and Optimus is facing a major obstacle it must overcome. If Tesla succeeds, its commercial strategy for Optimus may change. So why is the Optimus robot only being sold in the US? Let's find out now. All of this was revealed during Tesla's Q1 2025 earnings call. In addition to shocking updates, like Elon Musk announcing that he would no longer be heavily involved with Doge, starting in May to refocus on Tesla amid the company's serious downturn. Tesla's Q1 profit was only $409 million, a drop of over 70% compared to $1.4 billion in the same period of 2024. Throughout the meeting, aside from questions about the development process of the humanoid robot Optimus, an investor asked about Optimus's supply chain. This was an important question because Elon Musk had declared last month that the Tesla bot production line would be ramped up rapidly with 5,000 units being the most optimistic target for this year. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that if we own Optimus, we won't have to spend hours doing boring chores like cleaning, mowing the lawn, doing laundry, or lifting heavy objects. Instead, there would be a humanoid robot ready to do all of that, allowing you to make better use of your precious time, relaxing, caring for your family, or even working on personal growth especially on weekends, who wants to waste their valuable days off doing housework, right? Everyone wants to enjoy those moments, not be consumed by busyness. And that's exactly why Elon Musk is developing the Tesla bot. If it succeeds and goes into mass production next year, it could mark a major turning point, not just in technology, but in how we live and work. However, it seems even Elon Musk didn't anticipate a major obstacle that has hit Optimus. A crucial component that significantly impacts Optimus's usefulness is dependent on China. Specifically, China's tightening of rare earth exports is directly affecting the Tesla bot Optimus, making it difficult to secure stable supplies of key parts, such as the permanent magnets used in the robot's arm actuators. Although Tesla is currently working with the Chinese government to obtain export permits, this situation has clearly slowed down production and driven up costs beyond the original expectations. Amid a threatened supply chain and ongoing U.S., China trade tensions with no signs of easing, Elon Musk's decision to focus sales of Optimus in the U.S. becomes more understandable. It's not only a move to minimize risks stemming from China's export policies, but also a way to maintain tight control over production and distribution especially since Optimus is still in the developmental stage of newer generations, which involve many proprietary components and lack a stable supply chain. Elon Musk has confirmed this. Almost everything in Optimus is new. There's, there's not like an existing supply chain for the motors, gearboxes, electronics, actuators, really anything in the, in the uh, almost anything in the Optimus, uh, apart from the, the AI for Tesla, the Tesla AI computer. Um, which is the same as the one in the car. Additionally, China's requirement that Tesla ensures Optimus will not be used for military purposes has made expanding into international markets even more sensitive. When international suppliers demand such a high level of transparency and control, it becomes difficult for Tesla to immediately scale up globally. Therefore, starting with the domestic market is not only a safe choice but also a strategic move, allowing Optimus to develop more stably before going global. Even Elon Musk emphasized in a recent meeting that Tesla currently has a higher degree of localization than any other manufacturer and will continue to strengthen this in the future. However, this is not exactly welcome news for customers outside of North America who have been eagerly waiting for Optimus, as the robot may become not only more expensive, but also much harder to purchase. 
Unlike Tesla's electric cars, which often just sit in parking lots all day, Optimus robots are designed to actually work, handling tasks for you and potentially even generating income by performing jobs on your behalf. That said, the term humanoid robot brings about a lot of mixed opinions and reactions. While most of us envision a bright future where these machines take on dangerous, exhausting, or just plain boring tasks, the reality is that many people feel anxious, even fearful, about this vision. They're worried that these machines could replace human jobs, or worse, dominate us, turning us into slaves, just like in the sci-fi movies we've all seen. The image of rogue robots trying to wipe out humanity still lingers in the minds of many. Some people even argue that humanoid robots are just clumsy, slow machines that sometimes look ridiculous. They compare them to wobbly walkers saying things like, it's like watching Biden walk, or like a drunk person stumbling home. And honestly, there's some truth to that. Most humanoid robots today are still struggling to prove they're actually useful in everyday life. Many of them even make people feel secondhand embarrassment due to their lack of refinement which in turn fuels doubt about their real capabilities. That said, we can't deny that this technology is advancing rapidly every single day. To be fair, we're not here to claim that Tesla currently has the best or most advanced robot. But what we firmly believe is that Tesla's Optimus has the greatest potential to truly make a difference in people's lives. It stands apart from most other humanoid robots out there because Tesla has put immense effort into making it as human-like in function and form as possible. Alongside its design, recent advances in AI have given robots truly extraordinary capabilities in just a few years. Put simply, AI is making robots smarter. And humanoid robots are how AI steps into the real world. Take ChatGPT, for example. It can give you an amazing recipe, but it can't go into the kitchen and cook it for you. You still have to do everything yourself. But imagine if that recipe was inside the brain of a humanoid robot like Optimus. What then? At that point, everything changes. Optimus could step into the kitchen and cook full meals, from breakfast to dinner. Elon Musk has stated that what makes the Tesla bot superior to other humanoid robots is its brain. Tesla didn't just stick a standard processor into the robot. It gave it a true AI brain capable of processing real-world information. Don't get it wrong, it's not a biological brain like a human's. When Elon says Tesla bot has a real brain, he's referring to an extremely sharp processing system, one that might even outperform humans in understanding and reacting to the world around it. Sounds crazy. Think of it like this, you don't have to say a word. A simple gesture or facial expression is enough. Point to the floor and it knows you want it to clean. Rub your belly and it understands you're hungry. Guests arrive it automatically prepares drinks. That's Musk's vision, a brain smart enough to read the situation, understand the environment, and act accordingly. This isn't just automation, it's awareness. In some ways, Optimus's brain functions similarly to a human's, because Tesla engineers have explained that it also needs to learn and download data to get smarter. It's like a person learning, gathering knowledge and experience over time to become more intelligent. Of course, Optimus doesn't need decades of school like humans do. Our brains forget things and need repetition. But Optimus remembers from the very first time it receives information. Optimus's exceptional capabilities aren't science fiction. They're built on a powerful AI foundation that Tesla has spent years developing, including machine learning and deep learning. Thanks to this, the Tesla bot can self-adjust and optimize its behavior based on real-life situations much like how humans learn and adapt every day. This gives Optimus a huge advantage. Users don't have to train the robot from scratch after bringing it home. It's already been pre-trained on countless real-world scenarios and is nearly ready to serve right out of the box. Many people have wondered, I don't want to spend a whole month teaching a robot how to cook, clean, or open doors. With Optimus, that's no longer a concern. Of course, the big question always comes up. If robots become too smart, will humans lose their jobs? But just like how smartphones were once feared to make us overly dependent, when in reality, they created new industries, new roles, and improved quality of life. This is not a threat, it's a transformation in progress. And if you're worried that Optimus might end up like those rebellious robots from movies like I, Robot, or Terminator, Elon Musk has made it clear, that is not the goal.
Optimus is designed to be a friendly companion, helping with everyday household tasks, from cleaning and cooking to assisting with elderly care. Some people who saw the early videos commented that Optimus walked a bit awkwardly and seemed clumsy. But that's not a flaw, it's a design choice. With a low center of gravity and advanced sensors, Optimus is optimized to maintain balance in tight spaces and on uneven surfaces, areas where other robots would easily lose control. In fact, just earlier this month, Elon Musk released an update that made Optimus walk much more steadily, no longer stumbling like it used to. Internet users used to mock it, calling it the Biden walking robot or drunk robot, but now Optimus has proven the opposite. And here's the key point. When the robot's walk becomes smoother, it means the artificial intelligence inside is evolving as well. It might sound strange, but it's absolutely true. Every step Optimus takes is the result of artificial neural networks processing a massive amount of sensor data in real time. It evaluates the terrain and adjusts its movements, not based on fixed programming, but on adaptive awareness. If the floor is flat, it walks with purpose. If there's a slope, stairs, or obstacle, it automatically adjusts its gait, even bending its legs like a human, to maintain balance. This is a major breakthrough, far beyond traditional robot systems that are constrained by fixed programming. Optimus doesn't just follow commands, it actually understands and adapts. And that's what makes it different. Take cooking as a simple example. You need to review the recipe multiple times, remember the steps, and know how to prepare ingredients. But Optimus organizes and stores data from the very first time. The next time it cooks, it doesn't waste time remembering anything. That's what makes TeslaBot valuable. Elon Musk is confident that Optimus can learn new tasks just by watching videos. Tesla Optimus has significant potential to be sold not only in the U.S., but also in many markets around the world, and this is entirely feasible when considering the global trends in automation and globalization. One of the major challenges Tesla will face when expanding Optimus production beyond the U.S. is tariffs on raw materials, particularly the permanent magnets imported from China. However, Tesla can certainly find solutions to address this issue. For example, the company could expand its factories in China like Giga Shanghai, to produce Optimus for the domestic market and neighboring regions such as Southeast Asia. Building a factory in China would help Tesla take advantage of the more affordable supply of components and mitigate the impact of tariff policies on materials imported from China into the U.S. Moreover, China is a huge market for automation technology, with many industries growing rapidly and a high demand for robots to replace manual labor. This factory would not only serve the domestic demand, but could also export Optimus to other countries in the region. In addition to China, Europe also represents a significant potential market for Tesla. Countries like Germany, France, and the Netherlands are strongly promoting the adoption of automation technologies in their manufacturing industries. Furthermore, Europe has more flexible tariff policies compared to the U.S., which can help reduce production costs. Tesla could build a factory in Europe, where these policies would assist the company in lowering costs and expanding production more easily. Much like autonomous driving technology, if Tesla Optimus proves effective and reliable in assisting workers and optimizing production processes, it could operate efficiently in any market, regardless of country or region. Therefore, Optimus is not just a product exclusive to the U.S., but could meet global demand, expand markets, and drive the development of the automation industry worldwide. In addition to announcing that Optimus will primarily be prioritized for the domestic market, what do you think of Elon Musk's statement that, in the future, most people will not buy cars? It might seem contradictory, right? Tesla is the world's leading electric car company, but the CEO of the company claims that the demand for car purchases will drop significantly in the near future. Why would Elon Musk said that? Elon Musk has stated that in the future, personal car ownership will become obsolete, and most people will transition to using Tesla's robo-taxi service. According to Tesla, the new vehicles launched this year will simply be more affordable versions of existing models. Instead, the company is focusing on deploying the CyberCab service this year. Musk emphasized that Tesla plans to deploy millions of self-driving CyberCabs, and by mid-2026, Millions of such vehicles will be on the road. This will allow users to summon a ride through an app, much like Uber, but with fully autonomous vehicles. 
In the United States, the average car is used for less than 6% of the week, and the rest of the time, it sits idle in parking lots. Therefore, rather than remaining stationary, it would be much more beneficial for these cars to participate in the robo-taxi service, where they can generate income for the owner and create revenue. Elon Musk has mentioned that the cost of a cybercab will only be $30,000, and Tesla can produce one of these vehicles in just five seconds on the company's historic production line. The line operates so quickly that humans can't approach it, with everything being automated in a way that's almost unbelievable, earning it a comparison to a high-power electronic production line. Musk also highlighted that the operating cost would be only 20 cents for every 1.6 kilometers traveled, a highly ambitious figure. If accurate, companies operating self-driving taxi services would have very low operational costs when using Tesla vehicles. Experts also predict that by 2030, the cost of using a self-driving car on a subscription basis will be cheaper than owning a personal car, thanks to the convergence of cheaper battery prices, solar energy, electric vehicles, and autonomous driving technology. According to Musk, CyberCab will revolutionize the entire industry, as users will only need to summon a ride from their phone without having to worry about maintenance, insurance, or depreciation when reselling the vehicle. Furthermore, the car business model will transform, as traditional car manufacturers will be forced to shift to providing mobility services rather than selling cars, thus competing with autonomous ride-hailing platforms. Especially with the widespread adoption of robo-taxis, the demand for used cars could decline significantly, creating a major shock in the market. Yes, the plan to launch the first robo-taxi service is still scheduled for June this year in Austin, but the fleet will only consist of about 10 to 20 cars, as it will still be in the experimental phase on a small scale. This will allow Tesla to collect data on the cybercabs quickly and expand rapidly once the software reaches its peak level of refinement and self-driving permits are fully secured. Elon Musk believes that the development of on-demand self-driving electric cars will render personal car ownership obsolete, much like the transition from landline phones with rotary dials to smartphones. Elon Musk has stated that in the long run, with the development of Tesla Optimus and autonomous driving technology, Tesla could become the most valuable company in the world. This is not just a bold claim, but a well-founded observation when considering the potential both of these technologies offer. Optimus, with its ability to automate manufacturing processes and assist with tasks, could revolutionize the way industries operate, from production to healthcare. Tesla's autonomous driving technology, if widely implemented, would also create a revolution in the transportation industry, reducing accidents and optimizing travel efficiency. With the combination of these two advanced technologies, Tesla is not only mastering the car market, but also expanding into other areas like industrial automation and assistive robotics. This could elevate Tesla to new heights, making the company one of the leading tech giants in the world, as Elon Musk has predicted. That's all for today. What do you think about Optimus and CyberCab? Are these two products the ones that will reshape Tesla? Drop a comment below. Goodbye for now, and see you next time.